We're back with Adriano Barros and uh, dish number two on our, uh, well, beef uh, medley, I guess we could yeah. say. And these are, or this is going to be, the skinny mini, mini fiesta, fiesta burgers. burgers. Okay, let's get the skinny on that. <laughs> All right, so these are mini burgers, popularly known as sliders. I'm using an extra lean ground round, which is the leanest ground beef you can find. There is less than 10% fat per 100 gram serving, which is great. So let's get started. I have here some salt, ground pepper, and garlic powder. So I'm just gonna add that in to our seasoning mix. There we go. All right. So here's some minced white onions. That's going to give great flavor to the burgers. And my secret ingredient, some grated zucchini. Oh! So this is going to add moisture to the burgers because we are using such a lean ground meat. So if you'd like to yes. mix that up, I know it's your favorite thing. It is. So good you can and get, good at it. <laughs> you can get started on that. So like I said, we are making the, um, the smaller burgers because we are hosting a little bit of a party and they're great for entertaining. I have some ready on the grill right beside me here. So if you want to, how's that going? Okay, I'm gonna put this aside. That's more or less what it's gonna look like once you uh, yeah. get it all going. Those look really good. Right. So that's gonna cook on medium high heat and it's gonna be cooked till well done. So that's an important factor when you're cooking ground beef burgers. Now do you use the, uh, the uh, Thermometer, the heat thermometer. I do, yeah. So the easiest way to find out if your burgers are cooked to well done is by using a digital meat thermometer. And the important numbers to remember are 160 Fahrenheit or 71 degrees Celsius. And that's when it's safe to take off the grill and eat. And that's for ground beef, right? That's for Hamburgers? ground yeah. beef, yes. Okay, so let's get started on our avocado salsa. Now this is a really fun way to dress up your burger and it adds great flavor. So here I have two avocados that I've cubed. So we're just going to place that. Make sure you get them nice dish. and ripe. Eh? Yeah, a nice ripe avocado really is going to make a difference. So you can add that one um, tomato that I've diced. Tomatoes next? Yes. Okay. You can add that in. Here, I'll get Perfect. that out of your way. Thank you so much. So next on the list is some red um, onions. So those are finely chopped. And that's going to add great flavor. It's already looking like a salsa. Okay, so for the seasonings, we're going to add just um, salt and pepper. So simplicity with this is great. So you can just add that in. And it's obviously yeah, humid in let's here. let's try that. <laughs> there. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to give this a good toss. Now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of canola oil. So you can... Um, put that right in here. And the reason I'm adding that is just to um, round out the consistency of the salsa. So it's going to make it more um, creamy and velvety tasting. Wow. And last but not least, some lime juice. That adds great flavor and also prevents the avocado from browning. So if you're going to have this out at your party, you definitely do not want to forget the lime juice. It's the lime juice really that makes it the fiesta, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, definitely. <laughs> so over here, I have some um, of our burgers, our mini Fiesta burgers that I've already pre-done. So I'll just get one ready for you. So I'll choose that little nice grilled burger. I bet you could have 12, maybe 14 of those and uh, you, you'd almost be full. <laughs> you could, but they're bite size. They're for a party. So that's kind of an appetizer. A little bit of an appetizer. And fun. And they're fun and they're loaded with nutrients and um, that zucchini. Wow. You know, that zucchini is a great idea. What a great tip. Mm -hmm. Also adds, uh, you know, additional nutrition, right? It does, definitely. Perfect. Yeah. And that's it. We're done. That's it. We'll get the others cooked. And uh, again, at the end of the program, we're going to uh, take a look at the finished product along with the other two. The next one is coming up.